Hello everybody and welcome back to another new vlog. Thank you for joining me once again. I had to stop here because the light on these two trees behind me is absolutely fantastic. Um, but at the moment we've got quite a breeze blowing through, um, quite strong winds and it means that the uh, trees themselves are not still. So I'm having to shoot this with a very quick shutter speed, wide aperture focused on the trees themselves or a spot just in between the two of them giving the trees plenty of room with a wide angle lens and hopefully that's turned out quite a nice image um, but uh, I'm shooting that with the Canon EOS 40D and I think I'm going to be using that for a lot of my stills images in the near future I don't know how much longer I'm going to be using that for um, because it is a used camera um, and really I just wanted to buy that and see if it was worth my while using it for a little while so it's going to be one of them probably six nine months worth of use out of that camera but we'll see anyway i'm going to move on and see if i can find my next composition of the day okay so i didn't walk very far but um check out these two fantastic trees behind me and look at the color underneath them as well on the floor where all the leaves have dropped um, and the, those autumnal colours are still showing through on the leaves that have dropped even though we are now into early winter. Um, but these two trees are brilliant because I've shot them before and I shot a panorama here once before. Um, but I think just these two trees on their own now are going to be quite good with the wide angle lens. Fairly close to them where I'm standing now. Um, and just capture those two trees in the middle of the scene and just fill the frame with the foliage from the trees and the branches and whatever um, and basically just try and hide any light behind that tree because there's not very really much sunlight at the moment and it's coming from over in this direction um, and it's just about lighting up some of those trees and the leaves and the branches on them and also the leaves on the floor underneath every now and then so if I can time that nicely, I'll get a decent shot there of these trees with the light coming into them. So hopefully this will work. Hope you like this image. Now I've also noticed that there's a similar scene just over behind you, about 100 yards away. Um, and it's just going to be a case of literally carrying the camera over to that spot like I say, it is literally only about 100 yards away, but the scene is very similar. And I think looking at it from here, I may simply have to photograph it from the opposite direction, which means that the light on that scene will be coming from the opposite direction. So it will drop on different areas of the image. Um, but I'm gonna walk over here and set this up and see how this one looks. So hopefully this will be fairly similar as well. So hopefully you guys can see that this from where you are is a very similar cluster of trees um, and what I'm trying to do basically is capture a shot here of this tree here in the front and the tree in the back with the beautiful lights on both of those um, but obviously to do that I'm going to need the wide angle lens I'm going to need to make sure that I'm set up in exactly the right position to do that and that's what I'm doing here with the Canon EOS 40D. Hopefully you'll be able to see here exactly where the camera is looking at and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm trying to shoot as well here. But also hopefully you'll be able to see just how breezy it is just here. So I'm going to set this one up and take this shot here as well. So these conditions really are challenging today. As you can see, the breeze is really the most challenging part of today's shoot. Um, but what I'm trying to do is just capture a few shots of things that I haven't normally captured before, but I've walked past a few times before, um, just to make sure I get shots of those things, just in case for some reason I can't get those shots again in the future, or just in case for some reason 
um, those images are no good in the future, I don't get the right light or something like that. <clears throat> so today really is about just tying up a few loose ends, I suppose. So realistically, the photos that I'm looking at capturing today are probably only going to be what I would call portfolio images. <clears throat> um, and it's always a good idea to get out and just keep getting as many images as you can for your portfolio, just because you never know when those images might be useful to you in the future. You never know how well they're going to turn out and whether they're going to be images that you can sell in the future. Um, I don't know that. I don't know how things are going to be for me in the future. I don't know how these images are going to be um, received by all of you guys. But uh, what I do know is that you can never have too many images. Um, I quite often will go back and revisit my portfolio and look at images that I've taken six, nine, twelve months in the past and think to myself, well, why didn't I do anything with those images? Um, and it's really quite an interesting practice to get into the habit of doing because uh, you often find that you've taken an image that perhaps on one occasion when you first looked at the image that you'd captured you don't really feel it, you don't really like the image um, but then when you look again a little bit later in the cold light of day you find that uh, you're much more impressed with it but also I often find that when I'm out walking I uh, see images that I think to myself well they'd look better in better light. I see compositions that I think I'll take at a different time when the lighting is perfect and when everything's just right and then we'll get a much better image then of that particular composition. And again that's another thing that I'll be doing today. I've got a tree down here that I wanted to shoot a few months back and I left it because the light behind it was creating too much of a silhouette and I didn't want the image to be a silhouette but now with a much lower sunlight much later in the day I think the light might be just right to take that image now so that's where I'm heading and I'll show you the image in just a moment so this is the tree behind me that I wanted to photograph this one here um, as it is at the moment the sunlight is behind it but there are quite a few clouds just blocking out some of the sun and the sun is dropping quite quickly on the horizon now so within the next hour or so the sun will be gone completely <clears throat> that means that the light on this tree now is just perfect whereas previously I caught it with the light the sun higher up in, on the horizon much higher up um, and it was backlighting that tree and creating a very very strong silhouette which looked nice at that particular time but I didn't think it was the perfect image at that time I liked it but I thought the composition itself was much better and I wanted to capture that in different light and this seems to be the perfect light for that particular tree but whilst I'm here walking down to this spot I've just noticed there may be another two shots that I hadn't taken before that are just a few yards away from where I'm standing so I'm going to take this shot first of all and then move over and take another couple of shots as well. So both of those last two images were um, exposure bracketed, mainly because I am losing the light now and I'm not going to get very much more out of it to be quite honest with you. There is just one more image that I want to capture um, but I'm really going to have to be quick if I want to make sure I capture the light here but luckily it is only just over here. <coughs> so I'm going to go and set this shot up now. I'll show it to you before I set it up um, and I'm going to take this shot quickly before the light disappears because it looks as though it's going to be pretty perfect. Um, I'll show you the image just behind me. Can you see this little bit of a path here running up through the middle of all these ferns, this bracken that's all turned golden orange and almost brown and this is probably the best time to capture this at the best point of this particular colour. Um, if I wait another couple of weeks or so this will just be a very dark dirty brown, it'll be flat to the floor and won't look good at all but as it is this is capturing the light just perfectly and the colour is just popping beautifully so I'm going to capture this shot as well, this scene, 
because I really, really like it. But I've got to be quick here, like I said. So that really is the last of the afternoon sun, as you can probably tell behind me. <coughs> um, I'm going to leave it here for today, because like I say, I've got no light left at all. The sun has dropped down almost to the horizon. Um, it's certainly below the line of the trees, so uh, it's being blocked out quite a lot. And I can't really get enough light into the image now to make it worth my while staying there any longer. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I've really enjoyed it once again. Um, really enjoyed the late afternoon sunshine, but also I've really enjoyed challenging myself against the conditions that I've had with the quite strong breeze earlier in the day. Um, so, hopefully the images have worked out well. If you've enjoyed it, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and also please remember to subscribe to the channel um, and if you want to make any comments at all just leave a comment in the comments box below the video uh, and I'll try and answer all of your comments and in the meantime I look forward to seeing you again on another vlog very soon bye for now